guys, what's up? Today, I will teach you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I'm gonna teach you the beginner's method. And this is only, I only have a three by three, so for anybody that, don't, does, that doesn't use a three by three, sorry, I can't teach you. But maybe in the future. So, but let's get started. First thing you wanna do is you wanna make a daisy. First, I'm gonna scramble this. So, we just stay here real quick. You okay? Scrambling up. And now, as you can see, the cube is scrambled. Okay. First thing you want to do, you want to find the yellow center and make a daisy around it. So we already got a head start with two of the white pieces. So what you're supposed to do is you need to get the white pieces here, 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 and here. So you need to surround the yellow piece in the middle so what are you gonna do i'll show you some sticky situations but i need something to place my thingy on and let's go okay and now let's solve it boys okay first we're gonna go with the yellow center so i'm gonna show you some few tricky cases and let's see if you can get through it. So let's go. All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna find this. I'm gonna try to get the most of you guys getting the favorite. So now you have the K. Okay. So I'll show you a few sticky situations. First, we're gonna find a yellow piece like this. And this is a sticky situation right here. This is supposed to be switched right here, and then the way to get through that is do this. And if there's something in the way, you can just move this part. You can just kind of just move this part, and then so there's no other white pieces, and then you just slide this boy up. Now, find another middle piece one right here I'm gonna switch this because we don't want any other white pieces except around because it's gonna ruin it so what we're gonna do I'm gonna do this then I'm gonna do this okay now it should go away now I can do this and, oh, we already got free because there's something right here. Nice. Now I can turn this. Turn this once again. And then I can bring this up. And we have our daisy. Alright. On to the next step, boys. The next step is getting the white cross. And the only way to do that is by, you know, getting a white cross. So what we're going to do first, you have to line up the color on the the edge piece color with the white surrounding the yellow to the center with the same color for example you bring red to its red center and once you do that you flip it like this and now if you go down as you can see the red piece is here while well, it coming kind of to the center you have to do that for all of them so, let's flip this. We have right here. So, let's flip that. And now I have right here with that. So, we're gonna, if you get something like this, flip this up. Flip this up as well. Flip this up as well. You can switch positions on this. Just flip this up. You can do this. Flip it down. Now, what I can do, I can switch positions. So it lines up again, and I can flip it down. 
but that didn't work. Well, give it a sec. Uh huh, I know why. I'm going at the wrong way. And I'll do this. Then I do this. And look at Bam doing my bounce squeak. Oh, God, that's so bad. Okay. So now I have the white cross. On to the next step. I'm oh, sorry. On to the next step, buddy. All right, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to find this. I'm going to try to get the most of you guys getting the favorite. So now we have the K. Okay. So I'll show you a few sticky situations. First, we're going to find a yellow piece. Like this. And this is a sticky situation right here. This is supposed to be switched right here. And the way to get through that is do this. And if there's something in the way, you can just move this part. You can just kind of just move this part. And then, so there's no other white pieces. And then you just slide this boy up. Now, find another middle piece. It's one right here. I'm going to switch this because we don't want any other white pieces except around because it's going to ruin it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to do this. Okay, now it should go away. Now I'm going to do this. And, oh, we already got free because there's something right here. Nice. Now I can turn this, turn this once again, and then I can bring this up, and we have our daisy. Alright, on to the next step, boys! Alright, the next step is getting the corners of the white done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the white cross on top and find yellow pieces built on the bottom layer. Once you find one, you have to focus on the two. You want to see what's the two colors beside the, cor beside the corner piece. The corner white, the white corner piece. So we have blue and red. And the only way you can do it is you have to put the white corner piece with a corner with a free space on top it has to be a corner and there's and it's between its centers blue and red and blue like this one red and blue so what you have to do now is do this pattern right side down downside to the left right side up downside to the right now it's very close to getting solved. It's just rotated round. We have to keep on doing this until we do it. Oh my god, my dog is barking. Okay, anyways. Peace. Oh god, this is getting annoying. Hold up, you just gotta break it because I'm trying to. So, right side down, down side to the left, right side up, down side to the right, right side down, down side to the left, right side up. Sorry for the cut. I'm actually sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm a lot of things that happened, and I had to fix it before doing it before doing the cube again. But okay, let's focus again. So as you can see, it's now solved, and it's between its two centers. Now, you have to do that for the rest of the white cube. So, we have this corner piece as white. It's green and orange. It's already between the green and orange center. So, we can just do the pattern. Right side down. Right side to the left. Right side up. Down side right. Right side up. Right side to the left. Right side up. Right side down. Right side left. And right side up. And now... It's right here. If you don't see any white corner pieces done, just really. But I want to show you if you can't. There's a corner piece right here on the top. Find the corner piece on top. 
the only way to get it down is doing the pattern once. So right side down, down side to the left, right side up, down side to the right. Now it's now it's here and you can solve it like normal. Now, let's do it again. Right side down, down to the left, right side up. So I'll just be right back. I'll just solve this one and we will move on to the next step. Alright? Bye. Back. Sorry. And now we have this. Now we have the white layer done. Now it's time for the next step, which is getting the middle layer done. So flip this is arguably the hardest step in the entire cube, not gonna lie, the hardest step. So I recommend trying to understand this because this is like this is the hardest step in the cube and probably try to practice it a bunch of times, so let's get going. First, we want to put the white side down and find pieces on top that don't have any edge piece on top that don't have any yellow on them. Like this one, blue and red. Put it between their centers and figure out which color is facing front. In this case, it's blue. Turn it. If it's on the left, you do this algorithm. Top to the left, this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Now, the white layer should be untouched and the edge piece should be solved. I know that was a lot, but like I said, this is the hardest step. And if you could do this, you could definitely do the whole cube. So now, do it again, find another center. In this case, it's orange for you in front. So since it's on the right, we do the right pattern. Like this. Like this. Like the bands do. There we go. Now we're done. Let's do it again. So we have red and green. So put it between, it's on the left. So we do the left algorithm. So now, you know, if there's no edge pieces on top that don't have any yellow on them, and if you don't know what edge piece is, basically the piece with two colors on it, like this and this one, this one, this one, there's no one that doesn't have the yellow, check the middle layer. <coughs> Find an unsolved middle layer edge piece, put yellow in front of it. We can go when, wherever we want, so I'm going to go to the orange side. And since we went left, we do the left algorithm. So now, I should switch it, and now we have the edge piece on top. And we can solve it like normal. So I'll put that here. Since we went to the left, we do the left algorithm. And if you've done all of that correctly, you should have the middle layer solved. On to the next step. So you have you'll have these three cases. The bar case, the dot case, the L case or solved which in which you can skip this step. But it will probably be the dot bar or L case. Good thing that we use the same algorithm to solve them all. For the dot, you have to do this algorithm. Like this. Like this. Hold up, what happened? Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And like this. In any direction. But. If you have the L case, you have to do like the backwards L. If you have the bar case, you should have it horizontal. On to the next step, I send the superior step. Well, getting the yellow cross to do the same thing with the white cross. Line up. So first, you want to line up some colors and find if they're horizontal or... You know, oh, 
Jeez. Oh, for, I'm sorry, guys. It's absolutely harsh. It's actually harsh. Oh, how am I going to do this now? I forgot how. Okay. You got to have to see that white, that blurry thing on the right. Goodbye. So, I have this. So, you have, you have to find a piece that's the same, like this one. You'll usually have a horizontal case. If that, you have to do horizontal and do this. But I'm going to and do the algorithm that I'm going to show you. But if you already have that, and it should turn into L case. To this case, the L. But if you already have the L case, put a switch in the backwards L. Uh, like, in, like in the last step and do this pattern. Do the same thing for the horizontal, for the bar, for the horizontal, and do that. Do this, okay? This, 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 this two times, and this. Now, if you've done it horizontal, it should do the L case now, and you would solve it once again like the L case. But if you have the L case, you got it already. So. On to the next step. Now the next step is aligning these again. These corners. So first we have to find a right corner. Like this one. But if there's no right corner, just find a random right piece and just do the pattern. And then just do this pattern. Which is my favorite pattern. Like this. Like this. This, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, and that should switch some of the thingies. But if it's still not correct, do it one more time. Also, if you did it with the random right piece, you should have a brand new one. If if not, then just do it another do it with another random right piece. Okay, let's do it again. Then you're already done with these, and you already got this. So now on to the final step. The final step is, of course turning these, rotating these. <clears throat> no way to do that. Positioning it like this. This is probably the scariest step because it looks like all of your progress is getting demolished. But I'll show you something very important so your progress doesn't get demolished. So, position a random corner piece on a run unrotated corner piece on the right and do the sequence that we did in step two. Right, so and do this until the yellow part is on top. And it is very important that when you get the yellow sticker on top, you do the last sequence, the last move in the algorithm with that downside to the right. Now split it like this. Now do it. The algorithm again. Okay. And now it's just a matter of realigning them. And that's a solve cube, boys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider consider subscribing hit the like button and no and open the notification bell so you won't miss a single upload and also on 200 subs okay on 200 subs i'll be showing you a footage of me swimming yes a, a footage of me swimming okay bye guys